G'day. The Victorian Government have recently enforced strict new laws regarding protests. You might even be upset by these laws and want to express your anger. I'm here today to teach you how to express your democratic right to protest and not be jailed for it. This dirty hippie is you, an ungrateful upstart that starts a protest. You might think you've been paid too much welfare or that the police don't beat you enough. But that's not important. What's important is learning to protest correctly. If we deem your protest to be unlawful, we can issue you with a move on notice, like this. Move on. Okay. Order right there. If you stay in defiance of a move on order, you can be fined $720. Like I'm going to do right now. Are you really doing this or is this for the film? If you return to the area you've already been removed from, you can face up to two years jail. You're going to wait for a long time. What? You told me to stand here. Are you were resisting arrest? Shut no. oh. up! Along with these new laws come new reasons we can issue you with a move on notice. If you're blocking an entryway. What? I'm just standing here. Go around me. Move on. Protest over. If we think anyone else has a fear of violence. Are you scared? Not really. Are you scared? Yes. Protest over. If we even suspect that in the future your peaceful protest could turn violent or cause property damage, we can break it up. How will we know what will happen in the future? We're psychic. Like Minority Report. And speaking of minority report, these laws will probably disproportionately affect minorities. Wasn't that a good film? As the Victorian government have said, these laws are designed to end unlawful union pickets and protest blockades that threaten to shut down businesses. Because the last thing anyone wants is for your peaceful protest against a business to actually affect that business. That protest breaks the law. Which law? The one we just passed, try to keep up. I don't want to have to issue you with a move on order. <laughs> no, but seriously, I will and you could go to jail. By now you're probably whining about your rights. Oh, boo hoo, baby wants its liberty. Well, don't worry. According to the Attorney General, these laws won't have any effect on your rights. An individual's right to move freely within Victoria and may, in certain circumstances, limit the rights to freedom of expression and peaceful assembly and freedom of association. Except your right to move freely, your freedom of expression and peaceful assembly and freedom of association. But when was the last time you ever actually used those rights? No, really, tell me, I'll use it to prosecute you. <laughs> So if you want to express your unalienable right to freedom of speech, be sure to stick to the strict laws imposed on that freedom. And if you don't like these laws, well, what are you going to do? Protest? Yeah! No.